Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, 2021, directed by Destin Daniel Cretton, is a landmark entry in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, MCU, introducing audiences to the first Asian superhero in the franchise. The film stars Simu Liu as Shang-Chi, a skilled martial artist who is forced to confront his past and his father, Wen Wu, Tony Leung, the formidable leader of the Ten Rings organization. On the positive side, Shang-Chi excels in its action choreography and visual splendor. The fight scenes are some of the best in the MCU, blending traditional martial arts with modern cinematic techniques. Sequences like the bus fight and the final battle are particularly standout, showcasing Simu Liu's athleticism and the film's innovative direction. The film's visual effects, especially the depiction of the mystical Ten Rings, are stunning and contribute to the fantastical elements of the story. Simu Liu delivers a charismatic performance, balancing humor, vulnerability, and heroism. Tony Leung as Wen Wu provides a compelling and complex villain, adding emotional depth to the story. His portrayal of a grieving father, driven by love and power, is both relatable and chilling. Aquafina as Katie offers comic relief and proves to be a valuable ally to Shang-Chi, bringing a light-hearted dynamic to the film. The film's cultural representation is another significant positive aspect. It celebrates Asian culture through its cast, storytelling, and visual design, marking a progressive step for diversity in mainstream cinema. The incorporation of Chinese mythology and familial themes adds layers of authenticity and richness to the narrative. However, Shang-Chi is not without its flaws. The pacing can be uneven, with the first half of the film moving briskly through engaging action and character development, while the latter half becomes more exposition-heavy and slower. Some characters, such as the masked death dealer, feel underutilized and lack development, leaving audiences wanting more backstory and screen time. The film's climax, while visually spectacular, leans heavily on CGI which may detract from the more grounded and practical martial arts sequences that precede it. This reliance on computer-generated imagery in the final act can make it feel somewhat disconnected from the rest of the film's more realistic action scenes. In conclusion, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings is a groundbreaking and entertaining addition to the MCU. Its strengths lie in its exceptional action sequences, strong performances, and cultural representation. While it faces some issues with pacing and character development, the film successfully introduces a new hero to the Marvel roster and sets the stage for future adventures. Overall, Shang-Chi is a must-watch for Marvel fans and those looking for a fresh take on the superhero genre.